Gary YouTube from Coldaholic.com and welcome to the latest instalment of some Gary YouTubing this time in the form of a tier list where we are going to rank each and every Coldaholic punishment in the history of this illustrious YouTube channel but of course I couldn't do this alone could I? So I've got a second Gary YouTube over there, how are you doing Gary? Gary I'm fantastic, how are you Gary? God I could not be better, ha, what a fantastic day, <laughs> hit the intro will you? So just in case you're brand new here and just in case you've seen these before because we've changed these tiers up slightly we now have the worst the most severe of all time pretty darn gnarly bro because we're down with the kids in that rather unpleasant which is middle of the road and uh, not that bad really and then we finish things off with yeah i'd do that one i no problem so we're basing these on not the entertainment value, because otherwise Penny would be in a tier of her own. This is about how awful it was to do them, or how awful you perceive it would be to do them, right? Yeah, the, the severity of the situation. And cool. we're kicking things off, Adam, with your first Hell in a Smell experience. Wow, okay. Um, immediately I'm gonna say the worst, but the second was less pleasant than the than the first, but there, it just doesn't get worse than those endurance punishments are absolutely miserable. And it's, it's kept tolerable for the first few hours because you've got people buzzing away in the chat and you can chat to people, but the smell doesn't leave. It's like you, you think you get used to it, a rotting fish, but you just don't, you just don't. It just gets, it, it, it stays there and then you'll move your head a little bit and you'll just get a waft come through it never goes away and not to mention that that's bad enough but also you've then got the fact that you're being watched for 24 hours so the things that we would all do like picking your nose having a quick fart you can't do it because people are watching non-stop so I, I would I would say those ones are, are probably the worst that I've ever done and, and they, they mess you up for days on end as well because you're staying up for 24 hours did you know by the way i didn't realize we'd broken youtube law when we did this you're not allowed uh, as per youtube's terms of service to sleep on a stream tina turn a nap time as well it's all i know <laughs> right <laughs> how do they so, yeah. how, Go on. how do they detect that people are sleeping just People I think it's if, if somebody reports you, if you if you have a sleep, I, I tried, I think on the first one, to get 15 minutes kit. It was never going to help me. And then all of a sudden, I hear, Alexa, play Drew McIntyre, gallantry, <laughs> and straight away, come, oh God, she's going to do it. Alexa, stop. It's all good. Yeah, so they're, they're just incredibly, incredibly unpleasant. I could vacuum fully, because I did an endurance one, but it was literally less than half the length of yours. And that was yeah. bad enough. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching you going absolutely crazy. I guess we'll get to that in a, in a minute. But um, yeah, I, I feel like we've we sort of set the bar very, very high with the endurance thing. Like once you've done 10 hours, the next step, 20 hours, seems foolish. You may as well make it 24, do a whole day. Mm -hmm. Where do you go from there? Is this going to end with one of us sat in a room for seven days? If you want to do that, yeah. I'm good, I'm busy that day. <laughs> um, so there we have it. Uh, Hell in a Smell 1 is in the top tier. Then we move on to a picture of a pair of furry love cuff things that represents uh, Jack and Tom being handcuffed to each other for a day. I believe that was the punishment that happened there. I'm trying to find where, where it happened. It must be a recent one, obviously. Survivors, no, no. Clash of Champions 2019, Jack and Tom handcuffed together. It depends how much you like the person. Are there, there are people in the office that I could deal with it for a day and there are people in the office that I wouldn't be as happy uh, for a day. Would I like to be handcuffed to either of those two? Uh -uh. Nah, not me, no me. For different reasons as well. Tom. <laughs> yeah, we won't go into it. Nah, we'll go into it. Let's <laughs> get on. all the dirt out there. Well, Tom's Tom, 24-7. He is. That's not a thing. The camera, it's not like the camera goes on and then he's all shouty. He's just a very excitable 30-something-year-old man. And I'm very much the opposite of that when the camera turns off. So yeah. I couldn't deal with that for a full day. And then Jack... Hair, Go on, choose, all choose your words. He all day, doesn't he? <laughs> couldn't begin with that all day. I'm glad you covered that, Ross. <laughs> Are you disagreeing? <laughs> nope. Uh, who, would you, who would you most like to be handcuffed to for a day? Sam. Yeah, because he doesn't say much. He doesn't say much. He takes frequent trips to the coffee machine. 
Mm-hmm. Makes Andy. many cups of coffee a day. He's, yeah, that doesn't say much thing. That would help. Uh, he has nice smelling hair product stuff. Smells like cherries. That would be a lovely scent to have yeah. all day long. Uh, any more? Any, are you agreeing with Sam or do you have someone else on your, uh, on your list? I think Andrew, little Andrew, because it'd be like having a kid, wouldn't it? He's, not, <laughs> he's only appeared on camera, I think, once or twice. Once in a news video, once in the, um, in the Secret Santa video. He's the one that looks, I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, for viewers, he's the one that looks like me. And it would just be like having a little version of me. And he's lovely and funny as well. He I'd is like funny, Andrew. yeah. He is very funny. But where are we going to go for being handcuffed to somebody for 24 hours? I'm I'm leaning towards not too bad, really. Not too bad, considering, really. Considering the severity of the rest of these, like I wouldn't like to do it, but it could be worse. I've never I've never been handcuffed before, but I can't imagine it feels very nice on the wrist either. If, if somebody yanks, if Sam's doing a bit of editing and he goes like that, that's gonna it's gonna oh, leave a mark. That would be frustrating. In the grand scheme of thing, it's not that bad, is it? I've been handcuffed once in my life. It was in the Beavers. We had a tour of Morbid <laughs> Police Station. You're in the bee- oh, I was in the Beavers. Dip dab dob. I was the uh, the set leader, me. Were you? Congratulations. Uh, I was kicked out. Why? I was, I was kicked out. They, uh, I was in there and uh, I didn't think the people were watching and I was playing with the carpet at the corner and I pulled a big bit of the carpet up. I wasn't even a naughty kid. I just wanted to see what was under there. They kicked me out for, for a month. Sorry, I've, carry on. I've Beavers, got, you were no, handcuffed. I've got a, yeah, just getting a tour remote of police station. That was it. Just got the, ca- the cuff slapped on me. That was it. It didn't hurt, but then again, it was a child, so I guess they're not going to do it properly, are they, to a child, unless they're wrong in the head of it? You'd, you'd hope not. Yeah, but I've got, I've got a medal that's Beaver of the Year. It says on it, it's fantastic. Looking oh, congratulations. Back. Sorry, there <laughs> you go. <laughs> We're moving on to Sam Driver having an electric dog collar wrapped around his neck. That sucks. I, I really wouldn't like to do it personally. The only experience that I've had, I think, with being electrocuted is playing as a kid and touching an electric fence that we thought was off uh, <laughs> and it wasn't off and it gives you a big jolt and I imagine it's something pretty similar to that although maybe the electric fence would be worse because that's got to get through a cow's thick body mm. uh, but yeah I, I, I mean it must have been pretty horrible can you remember what set it off? no that was, was us it? we had a little trigger didn't oh, we? oh god it was wasn't it yeah we had the remote yeah yeah we were so considerate with that it could have been a lot worse for Sam than it actually was but Agreed. yeah, electric shocks can't be can't be that can't be nice. What am I saying? I was about to say can't be that bad. Like, exact opposite, Adam. How? Pretty- I mean, what's the, the, the when you shock a dog, it's to stop it barking or misbehaving, right? Yeah. It's got to get through some pretty thick dog skin. I imagine that was pretty painful, and we ramped the intensity up pretty far as well, didn't we? Yeah, this is definitely one of the top two tiers. It just depends which one. I think gnarly, personally. Pretty darn gnarly bro for Sam being shocked by electricity. Then we have Tom Campbell's punishment from this year's Royal Rumble, I think it was, where he couldn't have both feet hit the floor for an entire day. That would just it's, be annoying, wasn't it? Tom, yeah, Tom made it's it, tough. He made it twice as hard for himself than it had to be. He could have just hopped everywhere. But no, he had to climb on ladders. He had, he had uh, <laughs> Ben and Peter's little pink car to go to the shops in. <laughs> I remember you just going, you can just hop, hop man, hop man. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, I wouldn't say a mild inconvenience. It's a pretty big inconvenience, it big but inconvenience. it's not painful. It's not embarrassing. I wouldn't want to do it, but there, there are worse things on this list for sure. I'd say, I, is, it, is, this, is this the first bottom tiered punishment or is this not that bad really? I think it might be. I, I think, yeah, if, if. If It'll I lost, be I'd be pretty happy. I'd be pretty happy getting that punishment compared to a lot of the other stuff we've done or are going to do. Yeah, or are going to do. Bloody yeah. hell, that was Ooh, ominous. Geez. And then we have Tom's other punishment from this year. I can't remember which pay per view it was, but he had to be a human chair for an entire day. And what made this worse, Adam, is the fact that he had my £600 frame <laughs> plonking down on top of his poorly back for an entire day. Yeah, I, I just think it. It would be pretty miserable, wouldn't it? Uh, I would say that's rather unpleasant. I would say it's, 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 it's at least that or pretty darn gnarly, bro, because we did a bit where we went to Tesco and got our meal deals and then sat outside, and the amount of cars that drove by poor Tom on all fours I d- outside. <laughs> I didn't think about the embarrassment factor. I forgot the year you'd left the office, hadn't you? Yeah. yeah. I'd still put it rather unpleasant. Where do you think it should sit? I think it should be rather unpleasant. But then again, it depends who sat on your back, I guess, if... Your minion Andrew was there, be piece of piss. Yeah, totally. Uh, <laughs> it's it's worse. It's definitely a, a notable, noticeable, sorry, step up from the handcuffing or 
the one one, one foot, foot on the thing. floor. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then we're moving on to I think it's uh, a night in the woods one. Where me and you... No, it's a night in the woods too. I beg my pardon, where me and you were not involved. Right. Uh, Tom was doing things to Sam on this occasion. I can't remember what he did. I think there was some flower involved once again. I think he was some sort of like old Greg creature. You know old Greg from Mighty Boosh? Yeah. I think it was that, that, sort, of, that sort of thing. Uh, Sam got messed with pretty bad. Although I don't think he was messed with as bad as the first time. Because, let's face it, Tom's a nicer person than you and I. He is a nicer person than you and I. I he had to do a little obstacle course, didn't he? There, was, there were ropes and everything. So he was blindfolded. Tied up. They messed with his tent. Yeah. Um, it's, it's cold and it's a night in the woods. So I'd actually put that pretty high up. It is, Especially cold, in the, yeah. the time that we were doing that, or the, the time that that was filmed, it would have been pretty cold out. It was January or February, wasn't it, this year? Was it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, <slightly> pretty, <laughs> we should really save these then. ones for summer, thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. Tom doing not so bad... Th- well, comparatively to me and you, not so bad things to Sam. Gnarly or top one? The cold must be bad. I'd put it as gnarly again. Oh, I don't know, the cold. Yeah, the cold is bad, isn't it? Let's go in the it's worst. A, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a night on your own in the woods in January or February. Screw that. Yeah. Judging by the picture as well, I don't know if this was a stipulation. Sam was just wearing a hoodie. That's all he wears. Aye. That's all I, he ever wears. I'd have a big coat, me, if that I, was I, me getting sent to the woods for an, an evening. Yeah, I've got, yeah, ill-prepared. I tuned into one of these... Um, to, to one of the tier lists the other day and Sam middle of the day he's got his hood up he's all he's all moody isn't he he's like Alistair Black well, he's dyed his hair hasn't he <laughs> yeah <laughs> try yes. to hide it <laughs> nah, <laughs> big fan of Sam's blonde wig anyway oh, you're, you're, you're sporting the uh, sport the afro at the moment oh it's going to be an absolute big mess <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> we'll see how big it gets but then we're moving on to my Survivor Series 2019 punishment of being tarred and feathered which was absolutely miserable that's rough. That's really rough. And it the it was bad for you, and I remember you having to go home and get showered off and everything. And then, and then you're walking then... round and there's just a there's just what was it, treacle that we were using? It wasn't yeah. real tar, was it? It's just treacle lining like all over the place. How how it got everywhere, it was great. <laughs> I tell you what though, I nearly cried. After it happened, so obviously I got tarred and feathered in some shorts and a t-shirt and then had to try and get changed so I could get in an Uber to get home. But you ever seen that scene from Friends where Ross has got like leather pants and he's sweating so he can't yeah. pull them up? Imagine that, but like you couldn't get them past your shin. So I was literally on the floor in the bathroom downstairs going like, please just come up my leg. And the treacle, I was nearly crying and the treacle got all over the outside of the pants. No, I have no idea how I didn't get like a fine from the uber driver because his back seat was covered in treacle was it actually where i was sat yeah <laughs> i remember messaging you afterwards saying there's a bag of treacly shoes outside do you want them kept and you just replied no no one thank word you. they were covered <laughs> they were beyond any saving and then the air I, I, I think that's up there i think that it's I'm, I'm gonna suggest the second one or maybe it's the bottom of the top one because one thing I didn't explain was when I got home, I had to, it's one of the most humiliating things that's ever happened to me, this. Well, not humiliating, humbling. I got showered down by my girlfriend like a dog. <laughs> I was just like in the shower. Like, and another thing which added a pain factor to it was my arms, got, my arms got stuck to themselves. <laughs> and the, the process of ripping my arm off my upper arm caused severe bruising and there was a lot of bruising, bruising? Up and down my arm. yeah just like the process of ripping your skin away from itself it bruises That's you gr- put it in the oh. worst put it in the worst oh. so you've had a combined uh, wax slash tarring uh, <laughs> punishment there that's miserable i had no idea Aye. why didn't you film that huh we stick you should film that stick it on coatholic extra well, yeah, I'll set the only fans. There is footage out. There's not footage out there. I'm not going <laughs> to uh, Now we're moving on to, I think this was SummerSlam last year. Maybe Tom Campbell's cake escape. Miserable. That's bad. And it, on paper, it doesn't look that bad, does it? It could have been all right. Had he got it in the first couple of bites, he's had a couple of bites of cake. Delicious. Nice bit of buttercream. Um, but instead, I think it took him like... 10 fairy cakes and then three or four of the big ones to get there. That's a lot of cake. And you'd just be feeling like crap for days. I think that's a lot worse than perhaps people would immediately assume. I said to set the scene, it was Tom on a couch, his hands tied behind his back, and Mm -hmm. he had to find a key to get out the room he was locked in. Was that right? 
That's right, and the key is embedded somewhere within one of the many cakes in front of him. So he's there, arms behind his back, doing that. It's another handcuff based punishment. Got the key, managed to get out. But it took him a solid, like, hour 15. Imagine, like, 75 minutes of just eating cake. We've all been there when we've had one slice too many, then that sickly feeling comes over you, you want to kill yourself, you think, ah, oh, I've just eaten all this cake again. It was lovely going down, but then the regret's there. Once it's hit the stomach, I think I've been there more than you by the sounds of that. The, no, well, I, I, it's just, uh, I, I don't deal with, like, if I have a bag of Haribo, it knocks me dead. It, it's like, I need to have a, na a nap and I'll have a big sweaty nap. So sugar, I don't, I don't deal well with. So for Tom to do that was, was pretty damn impressive. And he wasn't just like, if I was doing it, I'd smash my head in, move it around a bit, just get covered in cake, because you're going to anyway, and then find the key. He just ate, he just ate and ate and ate. He's a nutter. He might I, just I would like put cake. that. Well, we all do, but there's, there's liking cake, and then there's 75 minutes of liking cake. I would put that in pretty darn gnarly, bro. Pretty darn gnarly, bro, I think is fair, because at the end of the day, he did get free cake. Yeah. Fair. So then we're moving on to. Oh, I'm just gonna move. By the on. way, on that on that note, I've got to expense all this stuff, right? So I have to go to the accountant later, and it's like, so uh, why have you why have you bought sixty five pounds worth of cake? It's a business expense. <laughs> he's just he's given up on explaining. And then, uh, on asking, do they, rather. Do they ever contest that saying like, how can that amount of cake be a business expense and stuff like that? No, not they used to, but not anymore. Like one that we'll get to in a bit, the penny thing. Um, <laughs> I did that on the business card. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a funny sex line on there. I just has got yeah, it's for a video. He stopped asking now. He loves us. Hey, the, have we still got the credit for that? We do. 24 minutes. We should give that away as a prize one time. Yeah, it's, I think it's linked to my phone number. <laughs> That's a shame. Yeah, give sorry. Give your phone number away as a prize. Why the hell not? <laughs> then we're moving on to... I'm going to put it at the top of the worst because I, I think it needs to go there. It's you counting to 100, but in you love it. Uh, 100,000, sorry, not just 100. That would be a piece of piss. <laughs> it was, uh, it was like, it was just draining. It was draining. I got maybe like 30,000 in and I was taking breaks every 10,000. And I remember just being like, nah, this is, I, thinking to myself, I'm not going to be able to do this. This isn't going to happen. This is taking me six hours. And then I realised, if you stop saying you love it and just go, you love it, love it, like that, and just click as many times as you want and get away. But no, I, I did say it about 100,000 times. There was no way of counting precisely. But it was absolutely draining. And you can't do anything else. I went in there thinking, this will be fine. I'll listen to music. Uh, I'll watch some films and just say you love it loads of times. And you can't do that because you need to concentrate and your hand's doing one thing there as well. It's just, it's not possible. I'll it never sucked. forget the feeling of dread that over... Because I sat there on the Friday before WrestleMania that year and I did 10 minutes because mine was going to be shame up man if I lost. So I was just sat mm. there going, shame up man, shame up man, shame up man, shame up man. I remember putting in the chat, we've made a massive error here, lads. And we're <laughs> like, oh, we're going to have to do it now. <laughs> Probably so. We didn't think that one through. Somehow you no. made it through. All the credit yeah, in the world to you. I don't know sad. how. But yeah. I... Never again. Could you imagine if we did that again? So then we move on to a punishment that uh, is still kind of ongoing because I'm still married to Sam. <laughs> and the punishment, of I... course, is the not the fact that we got married, but it's the fact that we have to go through the divorce procedures, something that me and you went through back in our mm -hmm. old jobs. Um, what a ball ache that is. I don't know if it's because Sam is scared of that whole procedure but he's very resistant to go through it. I'm sat here thinking, why am I still married to this man a year later? Well, there's there's real serious, like real life ramifications to this, isn't there? I yeah. immediately, I think this is the worst <laughs> because forever now, you're going to be the guy that's, well, you've been married to me, but also been married to, to Sam. And when you finally get married to the person you love, no disrespect to Sam or myself there, <laughs> It won't be the first time, Ross, and that can't be a nice feeling. No, it'd be a bit weird, that, yeah? I'll be gazing across the altar and see Sam in a wedding dress. Do you think, do you think it'll, will it feel less special, do you think? Because you've done it all before, it's old hat to I you. Know, I'm just used to it now, aren't I? But I, yeah. what a, and props to the lady who did do the whole ceremony. Well, she must oh, have been, yeah. the sight, I guess the sight she must have seen in that chapel in Vegas pales in comparison, well, is a lot worse than me and Sam. Surely, maybe, I don't know. It was really, it was a little, it was a little chapel, we'll say. It was barely even, it wasn't even a chapel. It was a shopping centre, Adam. It was a church, the <laughs> was it? a shopping centre. Talk me through it. It was, so I, so I, it was I assumed it was. A hotel, but inside the hotel 
was a little shopping centre, basically the size of Eldon Square here in Newcastle, I'd say, sort of that size. Um, and just, yeah, it was just like a shop. And it was just like chapel. I forgot, I forgot what the chapel was called. It had some the, sort of cheesy name. The little, the little white chapel was little it, or is that the one? Chapel. Is that the one where Triple H and Stephanie? Yeah, maybe we did try there, didn't we? But they didn't get back to us or something. Right. Yeah, that would have been the pièce de résistance, of course. But the marriage chat, it's still going on for some reason. He's still I'm, got it in his Twitter name. What's he playing at? I don't know. He must enjoy <laughs> He's it. He's proud. He's a proud man. He's a proud but his man. His girlfriend loves that. Yeah, mine does. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? The worst? Pretty dumb. I'd, I'd put that straight in the worst. Straight in 100%. the worst. 100%. Because it's just lifelong. Yeah. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully. So then we're moving on to your night in the worst hotel in Britain. I've got a picture of Lambrini here in a drawer. Yeah, so it was um, it was pretty miserable, but it's it's the perhaps the, the only time in my professional YouTube career that I've come out on top of something in that I didn't spend the night in the hotel. I spent an hour, two hours in the hotel. No, I, I tried to get to bed, so I, what, I was in there for maybe four hours. I went there, had a McDonald's, went back, realized the lock was broken, couldn't lock the door. There are smack heads everywhere. Just, it, it, it was really miserable and it felt very dangerous. Where, uh, the, the real sort of breaking point for me was not even the sound of shagging next door. It was the blood on the chair. Because it just mean like that room is just there for people to shoot up in. I still get a tweet maybe every two or three weeks from somebody just going, uh, like with a picture going, look where I'm passing. They changed the name now. It's not what, it, I can't even remember what it was called, but apparently they've changed the name uh, because we gave them all the awful PR. It was three stars before that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was it was bad, but I mean, I. I didn't spend the night there. I don't know if that counts as cheating. Do I need to go back? I would put it as rather unpleasant. Rather unpleasant, middle of the road. Is there anything yeah. you didn't show on that video that you could have shown but didn't because you decided, oh, I might get into a bit of bother here. I might upset somebody. Yeah, well, I went next door, I opened the door, and I started filming them having sex. Uh, <laughs> and they went mental. No, no, I don't think so. Pretty much all of the worst stuff made the cut. I love the fact of going in there. And all of this mental stuff everywhere, like the laughing gas canister, the bottle of Lambrini, the blood, all of that. The, the easiest one to fix out of all of them is just flush the toilet. There was a load of piss in the toilet. Somebody, like, that's the one of the things that you think you'd do. Uh, so, yeah, but I, I stayed in a nice hotel, so I can't complain that much. Oh. And I had a flutter on the flutter at the casino as well. I think we need to bring up that discussion once again. Does Adam Pacitti need to do that punishment good and proper? Put that to the public in the comments below. I, I did, well, I think, we, I think we know what they're saying, so <laughs> maybe don't. <laughs> so then we're moving on to our Elimination Chamber 2019 punishment, I think it is. Us dog cage? The dog cage, yeah. Yeah. Miserable, again, I remember being in there. Uh, so I did it during the pay-per-view, and then you did the WrestleMania 17 watch-along stream, right? Yeah. And it's... Um, it's the combination of your ass going numb and your legs like tensing up and cramping up, which was really, really painful after a while. I remember being desperate to get out of there by the end, as I'm sure you were. Yeah, but the morning after, I remember my ass just being, because I had pins, you know, you get, you sat down in the same place for too long on a hard surface and you get sort of like pins and needles in your ass. I had Keep that the next that. morning. Pins and needles <laughs> Pins in your arms. <laughs> 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 um, but that feeling was there the next morning, so it was a bit worse than I was expecting. Because I was expecting, oh, you just sit in the dog cage for four hours. But then again, they are made for dogs. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the name. Uh, yeah, I guess that there are there are positives to it in that I got to watch a pay-per-view. You got to watch an old pay-per-view. That's nice. You get to watch a bit of wrestling. i got to sort of do whatever pizza. you want. Oh yeah, you got your baked bean pizza, didn't you? Yeah. But it was still, it was painful, but I wouldn't put it too high up. I'd say rather unpleasant. Yeah, oh, not that, should go not that bad, really. It wasn't yeah, that bad, really. Nah, well, that would do it again if asked. Is if I've got any choice. And then we move Ross, on you okay. to you eating 30 chicken wings, which on the surface doesn't sound hard, but it is hard, isn't it? It is hard. They were hot wings and my stomach is no longer made for hot food, thanks <laughs> to a, a previous job, uh, Woolworths. Um, but it was uh, it, it, it really it sucked but it's definitely it's, it's, it's I do it yeah isn't it I did get to eat some delicious Coop hot wings I tell you what that's one thing I missed during this lockdown era is the fact that Coop chicken is not they're open shut. they're shut I know it's, it's, it's walking distance or I could get it delivered rather um, but yeah it's, it's not open it's slim pickings on the old delivery right now yeah I've been abusing it though it's been fantastic yeah, stone on um, <laughs> <laughs> where, are you, where are you putting this then 
It's it's bottom. It's it's I do it. Yeah, because I did just it, get yeah. to eat some chicken wings. Did I? I, I can't even remember if I succeeded. No, I didn't because you text my. Yeah. Oh, that was the yeah. That penis, was penis the menace. Penis the menace, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> what was said again? I can't remember. It's that long ago. Think, was it to my mum? I think it was to my, yeah. It was it was my mum, and you caught you you signed off as me as Penis the Menace. Penis the Menace. You, I don't know how you knew she called me that. <laughs> Any ramifications from that from Mrs. Pachiti? No, she's ashamed as it is. There's there's nothing that I could do anymore, and, and until I get. My my dick and balls out and shave them for a punishment. We're we're grand. She's she done. She just doesn't watch anymore. She doesn't watch. Dad dad checks in occasionally, uh, but they. If I ever talk to them about it, it's it's very much an eye roll. Fair enough. I get the same treatment at home as well. And then we move on to Jack the Jobber being assaulted by a professional wrestler in Japan. Hinare. Um, yeah. This is, so... this is something me and you've been through. It just depends Hendry. who's harder, Hinare or Joe Hendry. <laughs> I'm going to say Hinare. Um, I've had it as well from um, when I did the the wrestling documentary way back when. And that's the only time. Uh, is that the only time that I filmed something with my shirt off? For YouTube. Um, <laughs> and it, it, it stings like hell. You, you've got the, um, you got the welting and all that. That was really rough and I took a lot of them then. It's, it, I mean... Chop yourself now. It's it's a it's a horrible, unpleasant experience, isn't it? It's definitely one of the top two tiers because that night, me and you had that gaming stream with Joe Hendry, and he, I don't know if anybody's seen it at home, but bloody hell, he didn't just chop you with his hand. It was the whole. He, he sent me flying back. I think it's because I was uh, I was trash talking him quite poorly during the stream, calling him a little bitch or something when it's very much me who is the little bitch. And Joe Hendry made that very clear that day. Yeah, it's, it's amazing how these wrestlers just take a chop in the middle of a match and they don't even flinch. I yeah. wonder how you get it. It must just be repetition. Sick, sick people. But Jack the Job had been chopped quite horrendously, horrendously as well by a professional wrestler. i put it in gnarly. Pretty gnarly, gnarly, bro. Yeah. It was just one, wasn't it? I say just I one. I think so. That's more than enough. <laughs> I think so. Had his shirt been off, I think it would have just about made the worst, but I think he was wearing a T-shirt. I think he was as well. And then we move on to Jack and Sam's Christmas number uh, with the great Collie's <laughs> special appearance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, uh, there are words. I love a sing song. I love you a sing, sing song, song as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't and think it's, this, it, is, this is bad at all. <laughs> no, I'd quite like to do it. A duet with a great Carly. Yes, please. It's what uh, dreams are yeah. made of, isn't it? It, it was. It, it was. It's a really fun video. I love that video, um, but. It's. I think we're all sort of a little bit, for the most part, past the point of being embarrassed by dicking about on camera because we've done it for so long. I mean, if it was in front of an audience, that ramps it up. Yeah. Just Because I've got a, a, horror, a horrendous fear of public anything mm -hmm. when it comes to punishments and stuff like that. So if it was singing in front of a crowd, that would be a lot worse than it was. But in the, in the, in the studio when you're by yourself with your pals, it's a bit of fun, yeah. isn't it? A bit of, yeah, bit of a piss take. And then we're moving on to one of the most brilliantly named punishments in Cultaholic Wrestling history, the Tony Storm Simulator. Clever. Clever which, cons stuff, but... which consisted of Jen being uh, drenched with water, shot with a love heart cannon, mm -hmm. and hit with a air uh, thing. How it was cold, she... it was a miserable day, <laughs> uh, but she had the poncho on. Uh, she did. I mean, she did get a face full of very, very cold water. Um, That's not that pleasant, is it? It's it's not that bad, is it? I I I'd put it in not too bad, really, because I I definitely rather do the Great Carly sing along. Yeah. Jen for her first punishment. I think she had it quite easy. I think if she if she comes back, then we'll have to really ramp it up. Just cut a finger off or something like that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, lovely punishment. Everyone's favourite. And then we get the uh, the first Super Showdown. I think it was uh, the Australian one. Just, just a little no, kick up the bottom. A little kick up the arse, which it, was, it wasn't It was nice, to be honest with you. What's worse, a chop or a kick up the backside? I would say a chop is worse than a kick up the backside, especially with me, because I've got a lot of padding. So yeah, it wasn't I mean, too bad. Yeah. I mean, you've got big feet, haven't you? But, um... Get them out. <laughs> hey, hey, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't get me wrong, I wouldn't like to be kicked up the arse. Um, what was I wearing? What was my footwear? Did I have a boot on? I'm sure Sam lent you a Dr. Martens. Yeah, massive I think he did. I think he, he's got massive feet. His feet, are, he's like size 13. Is he? Yeah, I don't know what his... Bloody hell. Like, but, um, hey. I would say uh, rather unpleasant. 
rather unpleasant, I think's fair. It's a, it's a slight pain for, well, more than a slight pain, a pain for a little while, and it goes away and it's fine. And then we have one which I think would ra I would rank higher than you would rank it. It was uh, Jack's Public Pipe Bombs. Oh no, that was cringe as hell. No, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm with you there. Uh, it was, I, I, I was, because I was filming that. Um, and normally I'm pretty good. I like all, a lot of my favourite comedy, uh, The Office, Nathan for you, all that stuff is cringe comedy. I'm really good with cringe comedy. But Jack approaching people and starting doing wrestling promos makes my asshole go <laughs> like I can't. Ugh. It, no, I, I think that was really bad. And he's dressed up like Scott Steiner as well. Yeah, I would. I I, I wouldn't like to do that personally. No. Where'd you put it? I don't know. It's, it's one of the top two tiers, isn't it? It depends high up. Worse than getting married or getting tarred or one night in the woods or a hell in the smell or something I'd like that. It, I think I'd put it in the worst, you know. I'd put it on that level. I'd hate it's to the, do that. It's I'd the public stuff, it. isn't it? It's the, yeah. Because you've obviously done a, a couple of public things. I couldn't... Yeah. Oh. I, but again, it's stuff that I quite enjoy. I did, like, back at What Culture, we did the did the singing thing and it was embarrassing and everything but the nice thing about it was is that the people that turned up were wrestling fans they know what they're there for the difference with the Jack one is he's approaching complete strangers and <laughs> bothering them I'd put it in the worst yeah it's in the worst I think that's very much deserved pardon me and then we move on to Penny oh well you, you talk about this you take the lead here I mean when you look at it on the surface I'm speaking to a woman who can't see me she doesn't know me I'm just as weird as probably her normal customers are every single day of her working life. So, yeah. I, but, but the She's shame. She's getting paid. Yeah, it, it, it's. The shame it's, is still it's there. It's a piece of footage that will live, live on forever. That will always exist. If all this falls apart and we all have to get proper jobs and they pull that up on the old YouTube, you're out the door. P45 <laughs> straight away. Hey, it's your script and not mine. That's the yeah, edge. I, I remember thinking when I was writing all of those cue cards, thinking this is either going to be really great or it's going to fall flat and it's going to be dreadful and for uh, sorry it's going to fall yeah it's going to fall flat and it's going to be dreadful and fortunately it it came off really really well i can't believe that it worked and she bless her she was playing along she was she, i guess she's getting paid isn't she she was getting paid yeah she she thought she sort of gave up towards the end i was carrying her in that match towards the end but in terms of a punishment i would have is it even a punishment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a punishment. Do you keep in contact? Yeah, every day we ring each other and talk. That's dirty interesting because I actually I went through my old phone messages and as you know I've got the I've got the calling credit still, um, with my with my phone number. You mentioned it earlier, so I thought maybe for old times' sake, we could. Uh, <laughs> So she's not going to be able to hear you. What are you going to say to her? Well, just let, let's see if she's working at the moment. It's, it's quarantine, isn't it? I guess she can do it from home. We know that we know the code. Yes. This could be a disaster, Ross. Oh, press one. What was it? It was 619, wasn't it? <laughs> She's offline. Oh, They're trying to fob us off. Penny. Lazy. What she, maybe, she, maybe she's been furloughed. What a disappointment. To be fair, we'll, it's we'll try again. She might I'll, be on I'll, a lunch hour. It's 12.48 in a minute. <laughs> yeah, fair play. I'll, I'm going to spring that upon you again at a time that I know she's working. I'll give her a text on a on a private line. I tell you what, is that for, to do that as a punishment, I would happily do that again. I thought it was a right hoot. Once yeah, you get past bad. the shame and you feel a bit guilty doing this to someone who's just doing an honest, working an honest job. Yeah. Often. But yeah, I would do it again. It was a hoot. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I remember, I think that's like the most we've we've laughed is like when the camera cut, there was just like five, ten minutes and it was the immediate <laughs> scramble to get that footage and watch it back and see if what we had just witnessed actually happened because it all felt so surreal. It did work well. And then we move on to Sam getting pelted by several footballs. I say several. That's probably a bit of an understatement. I think it was, yeah, 10 or so. No, they each had a go, didn't they? I can't remember how many there were. Uh, yeah, it, it, it seemed pretty bad because I, I was there filming that. Um, and I remember 
it was it was bad because they kept getting him in the same spot. It might have been his, his thigh or something like that, and it was red raw afterwards. And then he had two or three more to go, and bang, one clipped his ear really hard. That's the worst and one. Remember, when did yeah. this clip you? Oh, dear. It looked really sore. And those were big, muscly boys we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, in terms of punishments that involve pain, this one is worse than a chop for me. Having been 100%. through both of these things, getting pelted with a football more than once, mind you, once is bad enough, is bad, is worse, sorry, than, more than, uh, than one chop. So I'm going to go... It's either top of pretty gnarly, bro, or it's in the worst. One of the two. How was it? How was it feeling being there live, watching it happen in front of your own eyes? I remember them being a lot louder than I thought they would. And I, also, we uh, we went to the pub afterwards um, for for a quick pint before we got an Uber back. And I remember Sam sitting down like that and just going, "Oh!" Like that. <laughs> so, I would say, yeah, I'd say it's it's towards the bottom of the worst. It was pretty bad. Yeah, we'll stick it in the worst. Horrific. Anyone who's been through that knows exactly what I'm talking about there. It's horrible. Have you ever been hit by football back in no. your school days or anything like that? A floater, maybe. You know, oh, you know floater's fine. Flo- floaters and what was the other? Chasers? Floaters and chasers? The Ch- big... Cases, the big, yeah. A proper one. Cases, that's yeah. it, yeah. No, a floater. I've been, I've been smacked with a floater before, but never a caser. Right then. So let me <laughs> move on to one that's straight in the top. It's you falling out of a plane. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. Jay, like... And I think we, we're about to talk about them anyway, but when you do something that's a genuine fear, then it's, it's, just, it's just the worst, isn't it? Like, there's, these are phobias that we had, and we had to live out a, essentially nightmares. So I would put them, like, we've got you being buried alive, we've mm-hmm. got Sam experiencing the snake. To me, some people, I, like, I wouldn't mind holding a snake, but to Sam doing that, who's got a phobia, that's awful. That, that must be the worst thing. Uh, and for you being buried alive, it's bad enough, but if, you, if you've got claustrophobia, claustrophobia as well, phobia, yeah. miserable. So, yeah, we might as well just stick them all on the top straight away, because I, I tell you what, Sam Snake as well. Sam Snake. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy Snake. Sammy Snake. <laughs> no, Sammy got one eye. <laughs> I, I, I remember not coming to work that day when Sam did that punishment because I am absolutely petrified of snakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Ah, that's worth remembering. Do you remember when you went out floppy and you're flat when me and Richard came round? <laughs> that's my snake. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. yeah and she was only a little thing. She was <laughs> only that, like a shoelace. I was absolutely... Te- how, how is she these days? Is she still alive? No. Well, I don't know. I, I, I mentioned this on a stream the other day. I've been sort of neglecting talking about it because when I moved into this flat from my old one, um, I just got the cat, so, and I was paying rent on two places at once because they wouldn't let me out of the contract. So I had two months of extra rent to pay. Uh, and so I was going in there three or four times a week to feed her and clean her and water her and all that sort of stuff. And I thought, okay, I'll come and collect her in a couple of weeks um, and introduce her to the cat when he's a bit more comfortable. And so I went to get her on the, on the day that my tenancy expired and she was gone. The door of the vivarium was was closed, <laughs> but she'd gotten out somehow. I have no idea because she was there on the Wednesday, got there on the Friday. She was she'd vanished. So somewhere at that flat in Newcastle, probably in the walls or behind the washer or something, is is a snake. Bloody hell! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, and I miss I, I miss my pet as well. She was great. But uh, it, it, makes me, it makes me happy that she is going to live on and hopefully upset a lot of people over the next few years. <laughs> Have you heard nothing about that? Surely that's a thing that would, like, ring you straight away if, like, oh, we found a nah. snake in your old flat. It's just a common pest, isn't it? It's like a cockroach or a woodlouse. <laughs> <laughs> I get well, no, no, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> so then we're moving on to Jack. I can't remember what, this was really early on in Cultaholics history, I think it was. Uh, him getting shocked by electricity taped to his hands. Didn't... Oh yeah, he had to cut a promo. Um, and yeah, I, oh, it's been a while. I was there for this being filmed. I mean, it's being electrocuted again. It I don't is. know what's. I don't know what's worth. It was one of those um, those ab trainer things, wasn't it? It was one of those like. Oh, the muscle stimulator the, things. Yeah, that tense you up. I've uh, my dad had one of those when I was like twelve years old, and they first came out. And I remember putting it on the side of my face. And it was one of the, and it went all through my teeth. It was horrible. So Jack, that the intensity was up the whole way. I can imagine that going up your your arms being really bad. There's lots of muscles to stimulate in your arms, like especially in Jacks. Yeah, especially in Jacks. So Sam, we've got Sam being electrocuted around the neck in pretty darn gnarly, bro. So I think that's the that's the the least we could put this one, surely. Yeah, agreed. 
Should we stick it in pretty darn gnarly, bro? Or should it? He'd yeah, probably say it should go higher. I don't know. I don't know which is worse. Without trying it, I, I don't know. So I'd say gnarly. We'll say gnarly just to be conservative. And then we move on to Jack being fed hot things. There's, there's the wasabi. Oh, was it, what, was the, what was the punishment? The, the wasabi here? in the milk. Yeah. Um, Oh, it, 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 was, uh, it was just a plate of wasabi, wasn't it? I remember there being a plate of wasabi. I remember there being something orange as well on the plate, wasn't there? And then he put the wasabi on top of it. Oh, yeah, it was just a load of spicy stuff. Yeah, so the wasabi went on top and below that was... Oh, what, it, what was it? Something really hot. I, uh, to me, it was... Uh, like, it was... I, I can't deal with that. The, the taste of wasabi, which is just like... It's like horseradish, isn't it? It's yeah, it's awful. It's an awful taste. Yeah. And I know Jack... When I've spoken to Jack about it, he's he's always said that's that's the worst one that I've ever done. So it must have been really bad because Jack's pretty good at doing them. Um, so I, I'd say yeah, it's it must have been miserable. It's and then the milk on. afterwards, that's you know, that's uh, salt in the wound, isn't it? Yeah, ring sting. Um, <laughs> it's got to go in the worst. I, I don't. How do you deal with spice? Weird question. Not well anymore. Not, uh, not well at all anymore. I mean, I like the flavour. My mouth is always fine, but I just after the after the the mic and his his coop hot sauces, where I ended up having to have a bloody camera down my throat. Uh, I, I I need to be really careful with it. So it's one that I literally couldn't do anymore. Mm. What about you? Are you all right with it? Absolutely terrible. The absolute peak I can go to is original curry corn. pot noodle. Oh wow! Not even a Bombay bad boy. No, I couldn't deal with it. Oh wow! Oh dear, it's terrible. In fact, hey. what's what's hotter? Where does uh, Mike's spicy wings go to? Everyone knows Coop, don't they? Watching this video, everyone around the world. Oh yeah. Well, it was the, it was the three shots, uh, and it was. So I think when we started doing the punishments, one of the first ones was one of those ghost chilies, the Naga chili. Yeah. That was agony. This was three or four times worse. Mm. That was very precise of me. Um, it was really really bad, and it was. It, I, so it was bad for like 20 minutes and I'm filling myself with ice cream and milk and all that stuff um, but then it was the it was being out for lunch with my friend afterwards and my stomach just taking a turn and just having to go I'm going to have to go home now and within half an hour I'm laid on my bathroom floor crying it was so painful never again <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll do 20 Bombay bad boys no problem <laughs> Mike can piss off yeah um, then we're moving on to Sam blending an entire McDonald's meal and then eating it. Can you remember what went into this meal? I don't yeah, think I've seen I, this punishment. <laughs> there was definitely, I think Jack was eating a Big Mac. In there, there was an apple pie, there was milkshake, there was fries, and I think there was some burger too. Some people like the combination, don't they? I know people who dip their McDonald's fries in milkshake. That's yeah, a thing. Yeah, they're weird, them, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, nutters. But this, apparently, was just like the saltiest thing you've ever tasted. I mean, there's your sodium intake for about four days. And God bless him, he did the lot. I think he vomited. He did vomit. He did vomit at the end. But I think it must have been pretty bad. Yeah. So it's got to be one of the top three tiers, surely. I can't imagine it. Yeah, why would you do Oh, yeah. Just try it's, it's, it, yeah. it's more than rather unpleasant. That, that doesn't fit in rather unpleasant. I'd, I'd say gnarly again. I would say gnarly, yeah. Just for the salt intake alone. I don't know if my body yeah. would withstand that. <laughs> only one way to find out. Um, then we're moving on to you on a mega bus for 17 hours. It's miserable again, isn't it? What do you say? It's, it's, it's solitary and then getting there and having to immediately come back is just it, it, i remember it felt like my soul left my body when i opened that envelope it was because uh, i was ready i was there and i was like okay brilliant i'm gonna find a hotel to check into uh, i'm gonna go and have beers i've got friends in amsterdam i've got friends in amsterdam who i was planning on having a pint with couldn't happen couldn't happen because i had to go straight back it's it sucked did you have fun ross i had a great time on my own having a flight Good. over to amsterdam going to the the zoo and a sex museum and I, I drank about 14 pints that night it was great that's the most i've drunk <laughs> for a long long time <laughs> i think that's the that's the one sort of saving grace for me is that i might have looked uh, pathetic and and rubbish but i didn't look like a creep like you did on my own what everyone does when they go to amsterdam so megabus <laughs> has got to be in the worst yeah. tier of all then we're going on to you dressing up as gold dust and being a human statue in Newcastle upon Tyne, Northumberland Street, which is the busiest shopping street in all of Newcastle upon Tyne. This is one that I, I don't think I could stomach me. I, public things, yeah, what? It was, 
Oh. It wasn't great. I mean, the, it's a combination of punishments as well, I think. So the human statue was one part, but I had to be gold dust for a month. So I was going to work every day uh, with, with makeup on and that gold bodysuit and everything. And I'd wear stuff over it and then get changed when I was in the office. But it was a, it was a really miserable month. It was during the... So it was just after it, the, uh, the head shaving punishment. And my hair was growing back and I looked like a, a pissing mushroom anyway. <laughs> and then I'm covered, uh, just dressed as a, a creepy Oscar statue. It, it, and yeah, then you got the public humiliation stuff. And there's somebody in that video, in fact, I remember watching The Rushes back and I hadn't seen her, but it was somebody that I'd known. And somebody, I, I, and you just see her look at me and just go, oh, for God's sake. Like that, so it, yeah, it, it's pretty, it's, it's public humiliation again. I, I would say Jack's is worse because there was interaction. Jack had to go up to people and bother them, whereas I was just stood there not doing much. So I would, I would say it's, it's not in the worst. Right, but you had two people especially messing with you for a prolonged period of time. Not Jack yeah. and Sam, but two people who couldn't make their mind up what to do with you. Do you remember? Oh yeah, they were just stood there for ages. Put, did they put something in my mouth? A big, a big cucumber. A cucumber Where did yeah. the cucumber come from? I think I, I got it from Sainsbury's and gave it to Jack. I think Jack asked me to get it from the Sainsbury's <laughs> on Northumberland Street. I right. think that's the only thing I'd... Apart from looking after the camera for a little bit before I buggered off because the shame was too much even for me. <laughs> yeah, you left, didn't you? You bastard. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's all I contributed there, getting the cucumber to put in your mouth. But well, where are we you, going mate. then? Pretty darn gnarly, bro? Yeah, I'd say so. I would rank it higher personally, but that's me being awkward as piss. And then we're going on to Jack and Sam... Punishments with pain once again. They have a massive kendo stick in the office. And oh, me, I remember me and you being sat there sort of off camera watching this. And I, they weren't holding back. Well, they were doing it gradually harder and harder and harder. Yeah. But those last ones must have left a mark or two. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I've never been hit by one. I remember uh, like touching the kendo stick and seeing like the uh, how it was made and everything. And it makes a great noise, but bloody hell, it, 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 it's going to hurt as well. I mean, I've never taken one. I don't want to take one. I'm, I, I put that pretty high up. It's at least one of the top two tiers. It's literally so, been the, there was so I was expecting it to have a little bit of a little bit of give, but I had no give whatsoever. No. Out of the, the thinking back to the the pain ones that we've just talked about, chops, kick up the ass, kendo stick, kendo stick would be the one that I'd go for last. I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, that's the worst out of those three for sure. So yeah. it's got to go. Is it in the worst? Is it worse than it Sam be. and Jack being electrocuted? Ah, uh, maybe it's top end, top end and gnarly. Top end and gnarly. We'll go top end and gnarly because I think electricity might be slightly worse. Depends what you're into, though, doesn't it, really? Yeah, there was no kink shaming here. <laughs> We're going on to the second punishment, I think this is, in the, the history of Cultaholic. Me being sat there for 10 hours, Matt Hardy's laugh, which I can still hear in my head today, <laughs> <laughs> that playing for the entire 10 hours. And... Yeah, it was miserable. I had four sleepless nights, I remember, because it was the Christmas holidays immediately after we did this punishment. Well, I say Christmas holidays. The Christmas, we went home for Christmas and still worked a bit. <laughs> and all I, I just couldn't sleep at night because Matt Hardy was there. It wasn't so much the noise of the, the laughter, which you would think it was. It was, I would, I would close my eyes and I would see the video and I couldn't get that out of my oh, head right. for four days. I yeah, that was, that was the worst thing about it. I feel like anything that uh, has any sort of effect on your brain in that way, like it affects your mental state, has to go in the worst. Like it'd be easy to put Matt a little bit further down because we've done longer streams, but it's still a ridiculously long time and it still messed you up for days, which is the same thing that happened to me. So I, I think it's got to go in the worst. I was four days and I had to resort to a lot of Jack Daniels and a lot of Nitro, and then I was just like, boop, see you later. That Good. sorted Do, out. So listen, there you go, listen, kids. Yeah, right? <laughs> There's a moral for you live by. It's, it's Uncle Ross's health tips. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we're moving on to the first ever punishment in cultaholic history where it was all on the line. Hair and eyebrows, and unfortunately yours went. Yeah, they did. And I remember, like, getting Billy Big Bollocks. It, it, it was I'll different. Never, this I'll is... never forget, we, me and you driving... I must have been dropping you off back home after filming the predictions. And you said to me, all right, and you were going, I reckon I've got you here, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still being cocky now. I'm... 
Yeah, I've had it beaten out of me. So yeah, I mean, it was like it, it was the, the shaved head thing was a pleasant surprise. I didn't look that bad with the shaved head. It was the eyebrows. The eyebrows. I, I, the one good thing about it is I wear glasses, so you couldn't always tell. Unless I was excited like that, <laughs> you couldn't you, you couldn't necessarily tell. But Jesus Christ, that was a rough few months. And I'm just glad they grew back. I'm just glad they grew back because I I remember reading up on this and. It was like a 25% of people, it won't grow back if you shave your eyebrows off. I got lucky. Yeah. Where we go with this one then? It's got to be top two tiers, surely. Just because of the eyebrows. The shaving head isn't, yeah. isn't too bad on the surface well, the, of things. The but... reason that the shaved head thing was, uh, sorry, the eyebrows were added is because back then you had a, you had like a grade two or something. It's not like your afro now. No, no, you I had were... one all over. I used to cut my own hair. So for you, it would have been, it would have been a week and a half of being bald no problem <laughs> uh, the eyebrows start, I'd, I'd put it in the worst to be honest because it then. really did so I remember thinking when we when we started this was the first one uh, and it, we got to go big we need all eyes on us and we I think we succeeded in going pretty damn big there yeah we did we did go big for a long long time and still we were going big this year as well with some of the stuff we've done well, yeah. it's hard to come up with ideas though isn't it Oh god, Bloody we've been hell. doing this for so long, yeah. Comment them, go ahead, they're all going to be awful. <laughs> be kind though. Uh, then we're moving on to Night in the Woods 1. I've got the picture here of you, <laughs> you dressed up as Goldust in my car as we're driving to mess with Sam. We had bags of flour and <laughs> eggs and we made noises like foxes and... You were, you were little, little Ray, and... weren't you? You were, you were Ronald Mysterious, oh, is that, that right? The, the real yeah. one, the real Ray Mysterio <laughs> oh, was sorry, there. Yeah. He was in town uh, for Five Star Wrestling, wasn't he? He was, uh, yeah. I mean, that must have really sucked. For, I mean, it's another, it's another cold night somewhere in Newcastle where you don't get any sleep. But this time, I think we messed with him a little bit more. I think we were, we messed with him more the first time than the second. So I'd say this this probably goes in the worst. We had the tent poles as well, didn't we? We took the tent poles out the back, <laughs> so his tent was just a bag on top of his lifeless body in the middle of the woods. <laughs> I remember chucking all the flour in. He's going, yeah! Come on, Ross, cheese it! Get out of here! <laughs> so where have we ranked the, fir the first ones in the top tier? So this one's got to be in the top tier as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, where's that gone? I've lost it completely, Adam. I've made a oh, massive oh, error no. here. Where the hell's it got? There he is there. I found it, don't worry. It's in the top tier. Then we're moving on to who lost this? Was it just me? I had to spend a week on a ladder, doing all of our work from a ladder. No, I remember doing a video from a ladder as well. I think I did graded from a ladder. Um, I think this was one of the. This is probably the time that we became co-champions, and we both probably anyway. Uh, yeah, I think we both did. I mean, it's it's not fun, is it? But there, once again, there are worse. There's things. There's a lot worse to do. I would I would happily do that one again compared to some of the other ones we've done in the past. So, yeah. is it bottom tier or second bottom tier? How did you find working? The the issue was working at your desk because it was like. <laughs> You're on this ladder, but you sort of yeah. sat on one of the rungs and you had to be over like that for the entire day and the back pain. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought was the big issue. I wouldn't say it's, it's bottom tier. I mean, it, it, you were certainly seen on videos doing it a lot more, but both of us were doing it for the whole time anyway. So it didn't matter really if you were on video or if you were sat at your desk. It was more than a mild inconvenience. I'd say it's rather unpleasant. The more yeah, I'm thinking about yeah, it, that's yeah. I, I remember my lower back being pretty bad. Definitely, yeah. And then we're moving on to Hell in the Smell 2. Yeah, and that's the. Uh, it's, well, it's, it's the worst. Not only thanks to you was it uh, was it an extra hour <laughs> in length. Uh, <laughs> it was. I mean, the putting putting the fish on your head is bad. You get scales down you. It's not very nice. The tentacles of the octopus, when they're touching the back of your neck and the little suckers and everything. And once again, you don't get used to the smell. It probably smelled worse than the fish. I was, I was messed with for the same amount of time. I went mental during that. I remember doing live reactions to about three hours worth of QVC. I was going <laughs> bonkers. Do you buy and anything? Then the, say again? Do you buy anything? Uh, the Lennox 1810, it's a nice set. Oh. Uh, cutlery. And uh, so it, it it just sucked. And then the, the, the heartbreak, opening that little package, plugging the timer in. It could have been worse. You could have done me for another 24 hours. But the extra hour when I pumped myself up and I was like, yeah, I'm getting out of here. And then just the oh, heartbreak. What else was messed with you during that stream? Because I remember, uh, I remember flicking on and the octopus coming out and going on the on the head for the first time. That was pièce de résistance of YouTube. That was dog food because I felt we we felt bad about it. So to make it up, we gave a load of dog food to the the cat and dog shelter. Um, what else was there? It was just the relentless noise, the super chat. It's it's the 
it's the, the songs that just come in and you can't you can't turn off because it's incessant it's just constant berating uh, it's yeah it's, it, it was it was miserable but it was it's a it's certainly a visceral experience anything you would change for a future hell in the smell punishment I'd have just got a different job, I think. I'd have just stayed, stayed working somewhere else. For, no, for a future, for a future hell and a smell, oh, I, I never want to do one again. And I don't think people want to see me do one again, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what would I change? What, what's smellier? What's, what's smellier than uh, a fish or a squid? Like, without resorting to a load of dog poo, Maybe that fruit that they eat in the jungle. What's yeah, that? Yeah, the sick, something sick fruit or something, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they do it on. Well, that's Swedish. Is that Swedish canned fish? Is Stir stroming. Stir stroming. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. It was a challenger meme a few years ago. Um, so we'll see what happens later this year. Yeah. Hopefully, if we're Looking back in work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and then finally, we have one which I completely forgot about, which was us two spitting each other in the face with green mist. <laughs> I forgot about that. So when you started talking about us two spitting each other, what? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty miserable, isn't it? It's, uh, but it, it, it washes off. It's temporary. It, it's, it, it was miserable, but it's, it's, it's nowhere near the top. It's After what near we the just top. talked about for the past hour. Yeah, I'm going to go not that bad, really. Second yeah, from the bottom. Fair. Fair. It's not rather unpleasant. I'd say it's on par with... It's on par with Jen getting really cold water put on it. It's no worse than that, is it? Didn't, it doesn't burn like the might tell you in the wrestling. Aye. Uh -huh. That green mist up to Jiri <laughs> It's all fake. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for our tier ranking for every cultaholic punishment in the history of this channel. What are you, your thoughts on? Should I run through them for you, Adam? Because you can't see this tier. Uh, they can see it at home, can't they? If you want. Yeah, go on, go on, run through it. Right then, so we've got I Do It Yeah, which is the stuff we, we would do personally if we had to do it. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I'm just talking myself, just talking nonsense here. Then we have we have Tom with one foot on the floor for an entire day. We have you with your chicken wings, uh, Sam and Jack's Christmas song, and then Penny, even though it was hilarious, it's got a hit. We'll do it again, won't we? Then we've got Jack and Tom being handcuffed to dev uh, together, uh, the dog cage stuff. Jen's Tony Storm Simulator getting spat in the face with green mist. Rather unpleasant in the middle of the road stuff. Tom being a human chair for a day. Your couple of hours in the worst hotel in Britain. A kick up the arse and working from a ladder for a week. Then we have Pretty Darn Gnarly Bro. Jack and Sam being electrocuted onto different parts of their body. A kendo stick. Tom's cake escape. Jack being assaulted by a professional wrestler in Japan. Sam's blending McDonald's and your human statue. Then in the worst... I think the worst of all time has got to be counting to 100,000. Has it? Is it? Yeah, it's, it's the worst one that I've done for sure. So we've got that one, which is the top. We've got me buried alive, Sammy Snake. We have Adam out of a plane, two Hell in the Smells, two Nights in the Woods, uh, treacled and feathered, getting married and still not being divorced, uh, Jack's public pipe bombs, Sam getting hoofed with footballs, uh, Jack's spicy stuff, Adam's mega bus, my live stream with Matt Hardy, Adam getting shaved bald, and that's your lot. That is it, as my camera has 30 seconds before it cuts out. Any clues? Do the outro, quick. Uh, no, no, it makes you realise how much, how far we've come, <laughs> right, <laughs> as young professionals. <laughs> Fully fulfilled in life. I hope you are too. See you next time on this tier ranking malarkey. <laughs>